Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you will be learn upload project to hosting server. This is a very important to know many developers and uh, many of the own independent web design learners and uh, who are there maintaining their own server. And these are the very important tips and techniques to connect hosting server and transmit your local files to public place and what are the points to be identified and what are the main important things you to be like uh, in regular way you to understand to like uh, updating the data into the server and uh, maintaining in your backup into the your local host mission let's see the session how it would be open the files zilla Previous lecture, we have seen that by collecting and having the host name, our username, password, and port. Let's see here. These three, you take a, like a open the site manager. Click the open site manager. If you added any like a new site, if you are collecting more, these are the sites are there. And likewise, you can also maintain this data of the users. You can here save that to multiple. If you are running with the multiple domains, how it would be? The files will help you to maintain the credentials as well. And uh, this is the site I have chosen here to collecting to connecting production server. Just click like uh, click connect and it will ask you the password. For one time you have to give the password. Remember the password until until the file is closed. Till the file is closed, I am maintaining the save the password. Click OK to by providing these all the things I have given. Okay. Now see. See here, this is the remote site. This is the my production server is connected. This is my local site. In the left part, you can observe in the mouse. It's a local site means it's my local computer system. And uh, this is the remote site in the production server where I am going to connecting and uh, hosting my forms. Now see here, within this, what I'm doing under the public.html folder, just double click it and expand it. Yes, you see here, this you can able to see here. These are all the files and folders are available here. In my local system, also you can observe that index dot and all the files. Like uh, you may like uh, by installing the VAMP or XAMP anywhere, you have to find out like see all the partitions and everything will be displayed here. Yes, you can make it is drag down, drop up, all the things you can do. See, this is my PC expanding. Once if I expanded, all my partitions are showing. Where is your folder which you have to send to the server? that you can define the folder and find the forms. Once you find the forms, all are, you can send one by one by selecting the forms and all. Just click the, like a, this is very important. Which folder you are trying to send in? Like if I am selecting demo in the left side, you have to choose the right side as in a demo. The same place we have to send the content. Okay, uh, within the demo, what I'm doing, just connection if I want to send, assume that. Or else, uh, which one hello.php is there in my demo? And uh, here it is there hello.php. Yeah, something else. Actually, this is the live site. Live site. I don't want to disturb that site. Like a so called, I would I'd like to show you something. Yeah, this is the hello something. Okay, no problem. I'm sending. Just simply see here within the demo what I'm doing. Just right click the file, upload. Select the upload. Now see what happens. See, FileZilla is given me information. File transfer finished. All files have been successfully transmitted. In my demo file of uh, file in the production server, I am uh, verifying here within the demo. Like see here, it will be find like a hello.php. This is the file, and the date time you can observe that very clearly. And also, if you want to change the file access of the permissions. Just simply right click file permission. It's very important how you are going to be creating read, write, execute, which permission you are going to offer for your file. In an instance of uh, what is the permission means, some images may require to understand what is the permission you are giving to read or write permissions are giving to the web or not for the public. All right. That is the way some files, if it is not opening and accessing, you try to change the file to full permission, you try to give. Time, point of time whenever you require to critic or restrict the file you can change the file to read or access somewhere else it's very important 
and uh, meanwhile when while you are transferring the files you will be seeing that queued files and file transfers how many files and successful transfers everything will be noted here in the log file all right that is the very pretty easy to know how to transfer the files and uh, successfully host our your local project into the production server hopefully you got an understand very clearly once your site is open you will be seen on the domain successful i hope it's very clear thank you for watching this lecture thank you